Welcome to another edition of Black and Blue. And this episode we uh, we titled the Mini Apocalypse because we're going to be in Matthew chapter twenty four. Twenty four, yeah, just you know, uh, first part of that chapter. Uh, there's a lot here. It really is. Uh, there, 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 there really is a lot here. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we're we're just going to dive right in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of hope here. Uh, a lot of encouragement. Uh, end times encouragement, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, here we go, right? All right, Deaconess? All right. Okay, are, uh, are, are we buckled up? It's going to be a uh-huh. bumpy ride. Okay. Okay. Good. When Jesus left the temple and was going away, when his disciples came to the point, came to point out to him the buildings of the temple, but he answered them, you see all these, do you not? Truly I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. Jesus leaves the temple. Does that remind you of anything in the OT, the Old Testament? Hmm, maybe the glory cloud leaving the temple, God's presence leading, leaving the yeah, temple. Yeah, in Ezekiel, right? Yep. Yeah, the glory cloud leaves the temple. And mm-hmm. when the glory cloud leaves, that 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 is, it's not Elvis leaving the, you know, the building. Mm-hmm. It's God leaving the building. So now and the temple's helpless. It's helpless, unprotected. Mm-hmm. And that's why the temple will fall in like 587 uh, BC. Mm-hmm. But the glory cloud doesn't just go whoop, up to heaven. The glory cloud actually goes with the exiles Mm -hmm. to the Babylonian zip code, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Because God is even Emmanuel in the Old Testament, Mm -hmm. right? He doesn't leave his people. He goes with them into exile. And so what it so so what it so what is this all 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 meaning? Like so what does this mean then for Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. He's well, he's the glory incarnate, yeah, right. Mm Uh, he is he is the very presence of God with man, uh, and he leaves the temple, and so then we shouldn't be surprised that Jesus says, "Oh, this this uh, building is going to come tumbling down." Yeah, the uh, the temple topple, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. And th- that will happen in seventy eighty. Uh, eighty. Yeah. 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 yeah seventy eighty. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, so. Um, Jesus, though, you know, he leaves the temple, and just like the glory cloud in the Old Testament, going with uh, the exiles, mm-hmm. um, Jesus, he's, he's, he's Emmanuel, God. With us. And, and this is not our permanent home. We are actually mm-hmm. those who are in mm-hmm. exile. Exile. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, every year we just get a bigger and deeper homesickness, because mm-hmm. we know the new heavens, the new earth, that's going to be our home. Mm-hmm. That's where we really belong. It's where we belong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, uh, it's you know, so uh, <laughs> these uh, these unfulfilled desires remind us that, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. we are made for a world that's much bigger than this place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the new creation. Yep. And But we're going to get there, not by ourselves, but with Jesus. And that's good news because then Jesus gives us kind of, a, you know, some, some current events uh, that are a little scary. Mm-hmm. A little scary, but he's not trying to scare us. He's actually here to give us hope yeah. and encouragement. So oh, big time. We'll keep going here. As he, Jesus, sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, Tell us when will these things be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the close of the age? And of course, Jesus doesn't give an answer. He doesn't want predictors. He wants proclaimers. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, and Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. Mm-hmm. So what is mm-hmm. Jesus saying here? Mm-hmm. He's saying that there will be people who are like, Hey, Jesus is coming over there. He's here now. He's going to come in two weeks at... Uh, Let's see, two weeks from today at 5.15 p.m. Yeah, and, and they'll do so saying they're playing on Team Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and Jesus is saying, don't don't be uh, a planet. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's what the word uh, uh, to be led astray uh, uh, comes from. Mm-hmm. Uh, the word that uh, w- where we get a planet, mm-hmm. right? It wanders. Yeah, because a planet yeah. wanders in the night sky. It's not fixed. <laughs> And so, and so, uh, so I like to say, uh, don't be Uranus. Uh, is that, is that bad? Is that, is that going to be okay for the video? Uh, don't be tricked. You know, there'll be tricksters, people, you know, trying to predict, uh, uh-huh. the last day. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, no one can do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's it just, it's just, uh, yes, yeah, so don't, don't be tricked. You know, we're going to have those people and we're just going to ignore them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're not going to be Uranus. Oh. <laughs> um, 
So, but there's also other things that will happen in these end times. Because the end times started with Jesus uh, and his ascension and the sending of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Mm-hmm. And so we're in the end times now. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. And so there, there, there's some other current events that he brings up. Yeah. Yep. With nation will rise against nation um, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginnings of the birth pains. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, so what, uh, what shall we unpack here, Deaconess? Oh, man. Go uh, for it. Well, let's see. Nation rise against nation. Um, I think there's been some current events going on oh, where we have so, just yes. a couple of wars. I thought this is a war-free uh, world. Isn't uh, it? Isn't it? There aren't yeah, wars going on. Right. Not quite. <laughs> there's yeah. wars and rumors of wars. Yeah, tons of them. Mm-hmm. Just turn on the yeah. news. Yeah, yeah, bullets mm-hmm. are flying, bombs are exploding, mm-hmm. yeah. Missiles are flying. Yeah, yeah. drones are being used. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. they're hostages. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty pretty violent mm-hmm. world. And so Jesus, he doesn't want us to be tricked. He doesn't want us to also uh, be afraid, mm-hmm. be terrified. Yeah. He doesn't want, to, he do, he doesn't want us to be terrified mm-hmm. when these things happen, because mm-hmm. they will, they are happening. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and what's really interesting is uh, this whole uh, uh, must take place. So mm-hmm. saying that really you, you have hope there mm-hmm. in your Bible. Mm-hmm. Can you explain that? Oh, man. <laughs> well, because we don't have to be afraid when these when wars are breaking out and there's rumors of wars. Because who is the one who holds the whole world in his hands? Who is the one who... Um, has uh, overcome the world? Who is the one who is the light of the world that no darkness can overcome? Who is that, Pastor? Jesus. He's got the whole world in his hands. I, I love that song. <laughs> exactly. More and more, as I, as I get older, and I am pushing 40 now. <laughs> oh, man. So I'll, be getting my, I'll be getting my AARP stuff in the mail soon. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> And now, now, now you're probably wondering what's ARP, you know. But uh, you know, uh, I. Uh, <laughs> the, the, you know the songs that I learned as a kid, you know, just I mean so much more to me. Yeah. You know, so there's, there's so much truth in, in the in the fact that the Lord really does hold this world. Nothing is happening that He doesn't know about. Yeah. And he is the one who is promised to be our rock and our defender, who's promised to be with us, yeah. Emmanuel, always. Um, so if we have Jesus having our back, we always have hope. We, yeah. we, there's nothing that can, can stop us now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, and yeah. So we have all this, you know, the theological and the political and the ecological mm-hmm. chaos. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And our Lord says, he, he, uh, he puts a positive spin on it, really. Mm-hmm. He says that, that this is just the beginning of the birth pains. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, you know. He's he, saying it's going somewhere. Yeah. And so, um, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's, it's, it's pregnant, you know, mm-hmm. this creation with the mm-hmm. new creation. Mm-hmm. Because we know out of, out of this old creation mm-hmm. will, uh, will come forth the new creation mm-hmm. that will have, um, you know, uh, uh, no falsehood. Uh, no wars, no mm-hmm. rumors of wars, no tears, no, no earthquakes, pain. no famines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no tears, no hunger, no mm-hmm. thirst. Right, mm-hmm. everything will be perfect because we will be perfect as God is perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so we get to actually then hold both, you know, uh, the uh, the suffering in this world and, and joy. Mm-hmm. Uh, suffering and joy are brought together uh, with this image of of birth pain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Um, that uh, that we know that the suffering is only for a little while. The joy mm-hmm. eternal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of makes me think of Hebrews, where you know, for the joy set before him, yeah. Jesus endured the cross, That's right. its shame. Yeah, and it's it, really at the cross yeah. you have that meaning of joy, joy and, and suffering. suffering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, so we can have actually, uh, joy in, in, in the midst of our suffering because mm-hmm. of, the, of the hope that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. We have the big picture. We know where all of this is going. <laughs> Nothing's a dead end. Mm-hmm. Uh, because Jesus, uh, he brought, uh, he like smashed through all the dead ends with his death on the cross mm-hmm. and Easter morning resurrection. Yeah. He's that wrecking ball that just completely destroyed all that could be a dead end. Yeah. Yeah. Now the way is cleared, uh, mm-hmm. through 
the pain into the greatest gain, mm-hmm. right? Through mm-hmm. this creation into the new creation. Right. The new heavens, new earth. Because Jesus has died. He's a, He's been raised and now ascended because he's the one who's reigning and ruling. So all these little rulers, you That's- know, they, they still, exactly. <laughs> They're little com- compared to Jesus who is the true Lord and ruler of heaven and earth. Yeah. Yeah. You can't vote him uh, out of office. Yeah. You, you can't, uh, you can't get him off his, uh, his throne. <laughs> yep. Um, and so continuing here, mm-hmm. uh, it gets, it gets a little more violent. Uh, then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will, uh, will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so we'll be hated, it says, mm-hmm. during these end times by people who were actually worshiping with us, mm-hmm. confessing with us, mm-hmm. eating and drinking the body of blood, body and blood of Jesus with us, mm-hmm. and that's and that and that, that hurts. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, people near and dear to us. Yeah, that's really what it's yeah. What's going on. But again, on. we shouldn't be surprised. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, these are people that are going to call that which is good evil, and that which is evil good. good. And so there's going to be a lawlessness. Mm-hmm. Jesus says, and where there's lawlessness, there's lovelessness, and also then lifelessness. Mm-hmm. Uh, the three really go together. Mm-hmm. And we are not those who you know say, "Oh, we don't need the law anymore," because we are under grace, baby. Uh, no, actually, Jesus came not to abolish the law, but to fulfill the it, law, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And and the law can be summed up with with uh, one word. Love. Yeah, mm-hmm. L-O-V-E, love. Love mm-hmm. of God, love for all. Mm-hmm. And we see uh, the law, you know, perfectly lived in human flesh and blood with Jesus. Mm-hmm. He is the perfect human. He, he's actually what it means to be human. If you want to know what it means to be human, you look at Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Loving loving God and loving man all the way to the cross. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Where he dies because we can't do it perfectly mm-hmm. and rises so he can you know, speak his peace be with you. Mm-hmm. Those absolution words mm-hmm. filling us with the Holy Spirit so that our hearts can be made anew mm-hmm. and we're given a willing spirit, uh, a spirit that uh, is, is open uh, to actually do the law of God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To begin to do it. Yeah, to live the life of yeah. love. Yeah, with joy. Yeah. Because it's, it's just living into, you know, who we were created to be. Yeah, we love because he first loved us. Exactly. We we obey the law because he first obeyed the law for us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so, and so um, what Jesus is calling us uh, to do here is, is, to, is to live love. Mm-hmm. To live loved. Uh, so, so, so don't get, uh, don't get... Um, so don't return evil for evil, mm-hmm. uh, but but to uh, to really practice, uh, uh, you know, a, a kind of uh, a, what word I'm looking for, hmm. um, uh, a uh, um, a positive form of retaliation. <laughs> Uh, instead of hate, instead of hate, love. yeah, exactly. It's, it's kind of a positive form of retaliation. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, it's yep. uh, yeah. And, uh, and and so and so he he finally brings all this home mm-hmm. to to what we are called uh, into uh, in in, in uh, is, is is universal really. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I love these two last two verses here. But the one who endures to the end will be saved, and this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Mm-hmm. A- any any good news there? Man, where to start? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. You, uh-huh. you can do it. <laughs> yeah, the endures to the end. It's actually not endures in the sense of like it's on our shoulders, but actually it's it's a location. It's yeah. remaining under, um, you know, it, it, remaining yeah. under the outstretched arms of Jesus, um, remaining on Christ, who is our rock and fortress. Um, it's just being with Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, end. it goes back to that first question uh, in Genesis three: Where are mm-hmm. you? Uh, and and when Jesus says to endure, He's saying, "Yeah, make your home under Me." Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's the head. We don't have to be the brains of the operation. Mm-hmm. He is the brains hey, of the heaven. operation. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to be in control. Actually, you nope. know, that's, it's so freeing to actually say, "I'm not in control." Nope, I'm not all knowing. Yeah. 
No, we're we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna leave that with the one who knows everything and yes. is everywhere. Okay, mm -hmm. he's the one who's in control, and we're gonna remain yeah. under him. And by doing so, we know he's gonna take us into this new heavens and and new mm -hmm. earth. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And in the meantime, we have a, a good news message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you know that word "good news" it comes from really uh, you know antiquity uh, with like wars. Mm -hmm. uh, is that is that Harold? Is that is that uh, is that is that guy that is running? Back from uh, from uh, the war zone uh, to announce to uh, to the city that that we 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 have won, we're victorious. <laughs> Nothing can stop us. We've beaten them. We've yes, won. and and that is the message of of really the gospel is yeah. the victory has already been won with the bleeding, dying, third day rising of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Sin is forgiven. Death is defeated. The skull of the serpent is conquered. Mm -hmm. The grave is gutted. You know, mm -hmm. this is this is really good news. Yeah. And so we are those not fighting uh, for victory, but we are those who are fighting from victory. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. are we are those who know where all of this is going. Victory. Mm -hmm. Jesus already won it. He already won it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we we get to be the people who are like, don't be afraid, even when exactly. bombs are going off and missiles and shootings and all of that, because we have Jesus who is our Lord, who has won the victory. He is our rock and fortress. I think there's a hymn about a mighty fortress or something. Oh, oh yeah, by Martin Luther, who was a Lutheran. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. A mighty fortress <laughs> is our God. Yeah. Trusty shield and weapon. Uh, so this mini apocalypse is actually full of just good news mm -hmm. and hope in faith and love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have nothing to fear. We have nothing to fear for Jesus is near. Amen. Way yeah. to be Matthean oh, with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's Emmanuel. God with us. He's going to bring us out of our exile into our home mm -hmm. uh, of the new creation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. Well, that, that, I think that's a wrap. Uh, by his wounds. We are healed. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>